Welcome back, folks, to the Fishing Planet Steelhead Showdown Guide uh, here at Sa San Joaquin, California. If you guys don't know this comp, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I want to keep this a short video. I don't want to drag it out. It is Topwater Lures um, uh, at for Steelhead uh, Biggest Five Fish from Shore. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you what can work we the old way of the the 42 gram or one and a half ounce for a perch walker still works um, but with the new lures coming out for the last few months I've been working on uh, a few different things and uh, the topper 40 now seems to be the really good way of doing it and I'm going to show you a few things the reel doesn't seem to really matter a whole lot on this this lure doesn't really act like a other top water so I've actually been using the Griffin on it, and this is the current setup I've been using and having pretty good luck with. So uh, if you want to see the setup there, that is just a Fire Zeus, this is just a Zeus 810 or 270, and I have been going on one speed with it. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been using it as. I've been tried, I tried the other colors, believe it or not, without as much luck. Um, but like I said, if you why you can use that walker in the same spots but i'm gonna show you guys how to use the topper because it's a little bit different for some people being that's still relatively new so my spot one i will come all the way up here and i'll go cast right into there now it doesn't look like you could cast into that but you can uh very clearly this is my spot one in this spot there is a uni possibility or a trophy any of these locations you can get the uni uh, but remember, if you get it one place, you're not going to really get it uh, in another spot. But I just do stop and go with it here, just like this. Um, and I've had pretty darn good luck doing that. Um, and then once it gets kind of close in, the topper doesn't seem to get these guys real close in like the walker can. But uh, I'll just reel in real quick. And the reason I've been using the spot is it doesn't seem like the middle matters too much. And it does bring them back in fast. So spot one here. Um, in each one of these, I will be explaining what uh, what is at it. So this is my stand marker. If you guys want that, you can go ahead and pause these markers. And you can actually cast into the side here and at the dam location. Uh, so there is a uni and two trophies here. As you can see, very recently, I've used a walker and caught a very uh, big steelhead right there. Um, and I'm still pretty decent on the walker, but I've been using the topper more. Uh, so if you do want that there. So there's a uni and two trophies, but the uni is spread out to all the spots I'm going to show you. Now, I've been working on a second uni spot, but, and that's the reason I've waited for probably about two or three months to put this video out is. I don't have it quite where I want it to be yet, and not consistent enough to even use in the comp yet. Uh, with that being said, though, spot two... You can do either one of these spots in whatever order. There is one um, one trophy here. And uh, again, if you want to mark, go ahead and pause it to put it in the video. And I've just been doing the same thing. Uh, and you can actually cast pretty far into this uh, dam here. As you'll see, you'll see me cast in. And whatever you guys catch in the first 15 minutes, uh, you can catch... Uh, in the last 15 it is a half an hour respawn so whatever you guys catch your trophies and uniques you will be able to catch that at the end so then what we're going to do here now is head to the boat dock for the last spot and I'll turn to the right and head over here and then I will cast from this corner right to that island here now you can get a uni in any one of these spots I've actually caught it like I said, at any one of these spots. Now this spot here has two trophies. Um, as we go here. Uh, and you can see you catch a uni here as well. But you can only catch one unique steelhead from these three positions. Like I said, I've been working on a second one. But uh, pretty in, super inconsistent. And if I do get it, I will send it to you guys. Or I will, if I do find a consistent way of getting it out. I will make a video on that. But there is two trophies here. 
So at spot one over there, you have two trophies. Over here, you have two trophies. And over here, you have two trophies. And then you can actually, um, if you get your unique, you can catch it at the end, and what you really want to do. Also, none of these trophies overlap. I will, as I put always do, put clips at the end. I will actually show you guys. Uh, I have a couple of screenshots of me catching five trophies in a unique in the first 14 minutes. So you can see that it's possible. And then I have a couple decent runs for you guys so that you guys can see that as well. But I'm trying to keep this video short. So I'm not going to show both comps and, or all three comps. I'll just show you pieces of them. Uh, anyway, you guys have an amazing day, and we'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.